Hi, welcome to the GL transaction video and this is Saurabh. In the previous videos, we have seen the steps involved in this creation of a manual JV, right? So we have already seen how we can, uh, you know, open up the GL period so that uh, we may do the entry of a manual JV. And then we have also seen the steps involved in the creation of a manual JV. Right. So now in this step, what we are going to do is uh, we will approve the manual JV created by us in the previous step. We will post it and then we will see the impact of uh, that JV in the trial balance. Right. So now let us go to the journal entry form and query the journal which we had created earlier. So we will go to enter. And this time we will click on find. So since we have only created one JV in this ledger, we will expect the system to return us only one line. So we have clicked on find. So now the system is trying to fetch the JV. So the system has fetched this JV. So by default, the system will display this information in a summary format. So if at all we intend to see the details of this JV, we can review the journal so this is our journal so now what we are going to do is uh, you know we want to post this jv but we can notice that the post button is disabled the reason being uh, you know in the general ledger uh, you know ledger creation option we had enabled the approval step so that is why before posting the jv somebody must approve the ledger so i'll go to the line level buttons and I can observe that there is a button called as approve. So let me click that approve button. So we can see the message that the journal batch was forwarded to an approver. Let me say OK. So after the JV approval, the next step is to post the JV. So we can see that once the JV was approved, the post button has become enabled. So now what we are going to do is we will post this JV. So let me click on the post button. So again for the posting system launches a request. So let us go and monitor that request. So I'll say view request find number of days to view as one. And I'll say find. So we can see that the posting request uh, to post this JV has been launched by the system. So let us wait for the posting to finish. So I'll say refresh data. So as the request is running, what we can do is we can just query the status of this. Okay, so I think the posting has happened now. So let me go to find. So now we can see that the posting has happened. Okay, so if I query the status of this JV again. I can see that the posting button has become disabled. Okay. Now, if I intend to see the T account of this uh, journal, right, then I have this T account option. So I'll click the T account. And then in the T account, I can clearly see that uh, my account uh, accounts receivable was debited by this amount. And the sales account was credited by an equal amount. Okay, now in order to see the trial balance impact of this JV, what we are going to do is we will go to the SRS form and we will launch the trial balance request of EBS. So a trial balance request has got uh, multiple options or multiple types of trial balance requests are there. So what we are going to do is we will see the most basic request, which is the trial balance. So we'll select OK. And then uh, we will fill in all the parameters. So the ledger will be obviously Vision Web Tutor ledger. The ledger currency will be USD, currency type total, entered currency NA. The page break segment is the segment at which, uh, you know, we want the ledger, uh, you know, to be added and displayed. So we want the ledger to be accumulated at the company level. So I'll say company and then in the company option, I'll select 84. The company 
you know which is linked to my ledger and then the period so I want to see the trial balance for January and I want to see YTD year to date so I'll select YTD option okay and submit so now let us wait for the trial balance request to get finished now the request has started to run let us wait for this request to get finished and after that I will expect you know debit and credit entries against the receivable and the sales account in my trial balance so now the request has finished now let me review the output of this request so I'll see view output so we can see that in the trial balance <coughs> the sub account 2102 has been debited by this amount and credited by this amount